a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Joss Whedon Joseph Hill Whedon is an American screenwriter, director, producer, comic book writer, and composer. He is the founder of Mutant Enemy Productions, and co-founder of Bellwether Pictures, and is best known as the creator of several television series, including Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel, Firefly, Doldhouse, and Agents of S.H.I.L.D. Wedden co-wrote the Pixar animated film Toy Story, wrote, and directed the Firefly film continuation Serenity, co-wrote and directed the internet miniseries Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog, and co-wrote, and produced the horror comedy film The Cabin in the Woods. He wrote and directed the Marvel Cinematic Universe superhero films The Avengers, and its sequel Avengers, Age of Ultron, and also co-wrote the script for the DC Extended Universe superhero film Justice League for which he also served as director on reshoots. Early Life Born in New York City on June 23, 1964 as Joseph Hill Wedden, and being a third-generation TV writer, he is a son of Tom Wedden, a screenwriter, for Alice in the 1970s and The Golden Girls in the 1980s, and a grandson of John Wedden, who worked on The Donna Reed Show in the 1950s, and The Dick Van Dyke Show in the 1960s. His mother, Anne Lee Stearns, originally from Kentucky, was a teacher at Riverdale Country School as Lee Wedden, and an aspiring novelist. His parents had both acted, and appeared in a play together, at the Harvard Radcliffe Dramatic Club. Wedden is the younger sibling of Samuel and Matthew Wedden and older sibling of writers Jed and Zach Wedden. At a young age, he showed great interest in British television with series like Masterpiece and Monty Python. Wedden attended Riverdale Country School in New York City where his mother taught history. He then spent three years at Winchester College in England, where, taking note of omnipresent bullying, he concluded, It was clear to me, from the start that I must take an active role in my survival. Wedden graduated from Wesleyan University in 1987, where he was awarded an honorary Doctor of Letters in 2013. There, he also studied under renowned academic Richard Slotkin. After leaving Wesleyan, Wedden came up with the first incarnation of Buffy Summers, Rhonda, the immortal waitress. Early Work from 1989 to 1990, Wedden worked as a staff writer on the sitcoms Roseanne and Parenthood. As a script doctor, Wedden was an uncredited writer on films including The Getaway, Speed, Waterworld, and Twister. X-Men, on which Wedden worked on an early draft, contained at least two dialogue exchanges of Whedon's contribution, while the final cut of Speed left in most of his dialogue. At the same time as script consulting, he wrote Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the film that would precede the series, Alien Resurrection, and an early draft for Atlantis. The Lost Empire and co-wrote Toy Story and Titan A.E., the former of which earned him a Shared Academy Award nomination for Best Original Screenplay. Wedden has expressed strong dissatisfaction with the released versions of the films Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Titan A and Alien Resurrection. Buffy the Vampire Slayer In 1997, Wedden created his first television series, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The series depicts Buffy Summers the latest in a line of young women called to battle against vampires, demons, and other forces of darkness. The idea came directly from his aversion to seeing the Hollywood formula of the little blonde girl who goes into a dark alley and gets killed in every horror movie. Wedden said he wanted to subvert the idea and create someone who was a hero. This conception came from the very first mission statement of the show, which was the joy of female power, having it, using it, Sharing it, the writing process came together from conversations about the emotional issues facing Buffy Summers, and how she would confront them in her battle against supernatural forces. Wedden usually directed episodes from his own scripts that held the most cathartic moments in Buffy's story. The series received numerous awards and nominations, including an Emmy Award nomination for the 1999 episode, Hush. The 2001 episode, The Body, was nominated for a Nebula Award in 2002, and the fall 2001 musical episode, Once More, with Feeling, was nominated for a Best Dramatic Presentation Hugo Award, and a Best Script Nebula Award. 
The final episode, Chosen, was nominated for a Best Dramatic Presentation, Short Form Hugo Award in 2003. All written and directed by Wedden, they are considered some of the most effective and popular episodes of the series. Scholar A. S. Bjorn John recognized that the series has shifted the way vampires have since been depicted in popular culture representations. Since the end of the series, Wedden has stated that his initial intention was to produce a cult television series and acknowledged a corresponding, rabid, almost insane fan base that subsequently emerged. In June 2012, Slate magazine identified it as the most written about popular culture text of all time. And more than twice as many papers, essays, and books have been devoted to the vampire drama than any of our other choices, so many that we stopped counting when we hit 200. A lifelong comic book fan, Wedden authored the Dark Horse Comics miniseries Frey, which takes place in the far future of the Buffyverse. Like many writers of the show, he contributed to the series comic book continuation, writing for the anthology Tales of the Slayers, and the main storyline of the miniseries Tales of the Vampires. Wedden and the other writers then released a new ongoing series, taking place after the series finale, Chosen, which he officially recognizes as the canonical eighth season. Wedden returned to the world of Frey during the season eight story arc, Time of Your Life. Buffy the Vampire Slayer season nine was published from August 2011 to September 2013, for which Wedden wrote, Freefall, Part I-2. Angel. As a result of the success of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Wedden was allowed the opportunity to make his 1999 spin-off series, Angel. David Greenwald and Wedden collaborated on the pilot that was going to be developed for the WB Network. During the series' early expansion, efforts were made by the network to mitigate Whedon's original concept. Corrupt, a precociously optioned second episode, was entirely abandoned due to the gloominess written into the script. The tone was consequently softened, establishing in the opening episode's Angel Investigations as an idealistic, shoestring operation. It follows Angel, who works as a private detective in order to help the helpless. Though praised for presenting a unique and progressive version of the archetypal noir hero as a sympathetic vampire detective, it was criticized as being lesser than its parent show, in context of having been derived from a more popular original work. Despite this, it won a Saturn Award for Best Network TV Series, and the three episodes, Waiting in the Wings, Smile Time, and Not Fade Away, were nominated for Hugo Awards for Best Dramatic Presentation, short form in 2003 and 2005. The WB Network announced on February 13, 2004 that Angel would not be brought back for a sixth season. Wedden said of the cancellation, I believe the reason Angel had trouble on the WB was that it was the only show on the network that wasn't trying to be Buffy. It was a show about grown-ups. An official continuation of the story came rather in the form of a comic book series. Following the successful eighth season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, IDW Publishing approached Wedden about similarly producing a canonical sixth season for Angel. Angel, after the fall released 17 issues written by Wedden and Brian Lynch. Firefly. Wedden followed Angel with the space western Firefly, starring Nathan Fillion, Gina Torres, Alan Tudyk, Moraine of Baccarine, Adam Baldwin, Jewel State, Sean Maher, Sam Aglau, and Ron Glass. Set in the year 2517, Firefly explores the lives of the people who, on the outskirts of society, make their living as the crew of Serenity, a Firefly class spaceship. The series' original concept progressed after Wedden read The Killer Angels, a book on the Battle of Gettysburg, and watched Outlaw Star, a space western anime that first aired in 1998. An ever-present element was Whedon's injection of anti-totalitarianism. Writing into the show a historical analogy of the Battle of Gettysburg, the Battle of Serenity Valley. The beaten soldiers were called brown coats, after the brown dust as they wore as their uniforms. Wedden said, I wanted to play with that classic notion of the frontier, not the people who made history, but the people history stepped on, the people for whom every act is the creation of civilization. Firefly was written as a serious character study, encompassing what Wedden called life when it's hard, and in elaboration was about nine people looking into the blackness of space and seeing nine different things. 
the fusion of American frontier and outer space motifs was not well received by critics, and despite critical praise in other respects, the show had an average of 4.7 million viewers at the time and was ranked 98th in Nielsen ratings, which led to the series' cancellation by Fox. Wedden took to Universal Pictures as a means of achieving a continuation of the story. Following Firefly was Serenity, a follow-up film taking place after the events of the final episode. This developed into a franchise that led to graphic novels, books, and other media. New Scientist magazine held a poll in 2005 to find the world's best space sci-fi ever, in which Firefly and Serenity took first and second place, respectively. Since its cancellation, the series has attained cult status. Marvel Comics in 2004, Wedden created the comic book line Astonishing X-Men. He finished his 24-issue run in 2008 and then handed over the writing reins to Warren Ellis. One storyline from this comic, the notion of a cure for mutation being found, was also an element in the third X-Men film, X-Men, The Last Stand. In February 2009, Astonishing X-Men, which depicted the return of Colossus to the title, and concluded Whedon's first story arc, was named by readers as five in Marvel's top 70 comics of all time. Taking over after series creator Brian K. Vaughan completed his run, Whedon became the second writer of the Marvel comic Runaways. Having already been a committed reader, he had a letter published in the first volume, which was included in the Volume 1 hardcover edition. He also wrote short pieces for Stan Lee meets Spider-Man and giant Size astonishing X-Men, and was the subject of an issue of Marvel Spotlight. As part of a panel of writers, he contributed to Marvel Comics' Civil War crossover event, lending advice in how to tell the story and how to end it. In March 2016, Wedden contributed a story for the 75th anniversary issue of Captain America, Sam Wilson, with astonishing X-Men collaborator John Cassidy. Wedden introduced several new characters into the Marvel Universe such as the villainous Ord, X-Men Ruth, Blindfold, Aldine, and Hisako, Armor, Ichiki, Runaway Clara Prast, and Special Agent Abigail Brand along with SWORD, the organization she commands. Serenity After Universal Pictures acquired the film and distribution rights from Fox, Wedden started writing the screenplay for Serenity transforming the series into a film, he says. Was the hardest piece of writing I've ever done. It had to be self-contained, and work as a movie, which meant I had to cope with problems like introducing nine main characters who'd already met. The script was based on unused story ideas for Firefly's unfilmed second season. On writing the dialogue, Wedden felt that part of it came from getting to invent the language, which, once I had, reads like a kind of poetry. The narrative centers on Captain Malcolm Reynolds as the hero accompanied by River Tam acting as the catalyst for what he does. The score was composed by David Newman, and according to Wedden was intended to de-glorify space, to feel the intimacy of being on a ship as opposed to the grandeur. He used two long steady cam shots for several minutes of the film's opening sequence to establish a sense of safety in space. In 2006, it won a Hugo Award for best dramatic presentation, long form. The elements of science fiction that Wedden wanted to convey were essentially different in kind, and held a sort of grittiness, and realism, which he said, together, get the most exciting kind of film making. Like Firefly, the film contained a statement on individual liberty. Critic Roger Ebert observed, like Brave New World in 1984, the movie plays like a critique of contemporary society, with the Alliance's big brother, enemy of discontent. The film received the 2005 Nebula Award for Best Script, the 2006 Prometheus Special Award, and was voted the best sci-fi movie of all time in a poll set up by SFX magazine. There have since been multiple rumors regarding sequel possibilities. The limited three-issue comic book series called Serenity, Those Left Behind, the story of which was written by Wedden, was released in 2005 as a tie into Serenity, set between Firefly and the film. It was intended to connect the two storylines. Serenity, Better Days also spanned three issues, and was written by Wedden and Brett Matthews. Wedden later co-wrote The Shepherd's Tale with his half-brother Zach. Freelance Directing and the Sugar Shock 
As a guest director, he contributed to 2007 episodes of The Office and a 2010 episode of Glee. Denoting this period, Wedden has said, I had free time, but I'm pretty sure I mean my career was on the skids. In collaboration with Fabio Moon, Wedden created the free webcomic titled Sugar Shock, as part of the revival of Dark Horse Presents, which was launched on MySpace. Wedden later executive produced another free comic book on the internet, Serenity, The Other Half. Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog. As a response to the 2007-08 Writers Guild of America strike, Wedden directed, co-wrote and produced Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog. It tells the story of Dr. Horrible, an aspiring supervillain, who shares a love interest in a girl named Penny with his nemesis, Captain Hammer. To Wedden the miniseries was, a project of love, an accomplishment that from their excitement would be embellished with passion and ridiculousness. His half-brothers Zack and Jed and sister-in-law Marissa Tancharo and share the other writing credits. Wedden said it was a glorious surprise to him to discover how well they worked together. After having attended meetings with companies discussing the prospect of producing something for the internet, and faced with negative feedback on his ideas, he realized that as long as the strike was still in progress, acquiring corporate funding was an unlikely prospect. Wedden funded the project himself with the investment of just over $200,000, and earned more from it than he did directing the Avengers. He enjoyed the independence gained from it, as it provided him the freedom to include content without the expectancy of lessening it on behalf of the runtime. He and Jed composed the music, parts of which were influenced by Stephen Sondheim. The miniseries was nominated and won numerous awards. Wedden was awarded Best Directing and Best Writing for a comedy web series at the Streamy Awards, a Hugo Award for Best Dramatic Presentation, Short Form, and a Creative Arts Emmy Award in 2009. Dollhouse In 2009, Wedden created his fourth television series Dollhouse and explored themes throughout the show that were initially present in an unproduced spec script of his called Afterlife. The series follows Echo, whose brain is programmed to accomplish various assignments, on her journey towards self-awareness. As stated by Wedden, Dolhus was about, the sides of us that we don't want people to see, sexuality and, on some level, a celebration of perversion, which he equates to obsession. The thing that makes people passionate and interesting and worthy. Despite low ratings in its first season, the series was renewed for a second and final season. The reason for the renewal given by Fox's president of entertainment was to avoid any backlash that would have resulted from its cancellation. In reflection of Fox's disruptive involvement, Wedden lamented the loss of ideas of identity and moral culpability, stating that they were dancing around them in the process which then devolved it into a procedural. The Cabin in the Woods Wedden co-wrote and produced a horror comedy film titled The Cabin in the Woods with director Drew Goddard, which finished production in 2009. Wedden and Goddard both intended to make a film that concerned horror movies while still preserving the fun and frightening elements necessary to itself be a horror film. The script was written in three days, producing a minimum of 15 pages a day. Wedden described it as an attempt to revitalize horror, calling it a loving hate letter to the genre. Continuing, part of what Wedden thought distinguished it from other horror films was that people were not expendable as a culture. For our own entertainment, we tend to assume that they are. He reiterated his sentiment that the introduction of torture porn into this genre was becoming an exercise in nihilism and misogyny as a means to promote distress instead of trying to scare you. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like